Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go and be showing you how you make the underwater sound effect in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do so make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here. We can find all the instruments you can play. We have the audio recorder and so on. So let's go ahead and see how do you get started with adding the underwater effect to our sound. So what I'm going to do is open up the audio recorder right here. After opening up the audio recorder, now we can find this is the menu where we can get started recording and by using the big red circle at the top of the screen we can start the recording process. So we can click on that, as you can see it's going to start the recording process using all the tracks that we have and now we can get started with adding our underwater effect. Basically guys, as you can see we have the effects right here that we can add to your voice and one of them looks like this dreamy bubble that you can use. So this is one of the options that you can use, you can try out anything else you might want such as extreme tuning and so on but this is going to be the one the most close to what you're looking for. Here you can manage your space, your chorus, and so on. And if that's not enough, guys, what you can do is go right here into the upper left corner, click on the sliders option that's going to open up your track settings right here, where you can scroll down and you can add even more effects such as the echo, reverb, and so on. Anything that's going to give you your desired effect of the underwater, you can go around and play around with it until you get your desired specification and like how it sounds. After that, just save it and it's going to be like that. But yeah, guys, basically that is a how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thank you for watching take care and bye